Hello and welcome to the second episode of my newish series, Ecuador Stories, where I tell you stories about my recent expedition to Ecuador. I don't know if I can call it recent anymore because I've been home for like a month. The next story on my list to tell you about is the day we went snorkelling in the Galapagos Islands. The Galapagos were really, really beautiful. We flew into this island called San Cristobal and as soon as we got there we went and saw loads of wildlife and animals and then we were split into two groups and we went snorkelling in this bay and it was incredible. And then the next day my group went to a tortoise breeding sanctuary thing and we saw loads of the giant tortoises that the Galapagos are known for and it was like ha ah, it was incredible and then that afternoon we went on this like they called it a hike trek thing but it was like an hour long walk along the beach and we got to climb over loads of rocks it was really fun I really enjoyed it then the next day we got up super duper early we had breakfast at like six we had to walk to the port and get a boat for half past six to sail out to this rock called Kika Rock it was just this giant rock in the middle of the ocean and it had like this split in the middle and we snorkeled through the middle and back and we went I think most of the way around the rock we were in the water for like an hour and a quarter and I could have stayed in for another hour and a quarter. We saw so many fish, we saw, we saw, <laughs> we saw t turtles and then we saw, we just saw so much wildlife. We saw sharks and the, one of the leader guys kept asking me if I was okay because I kept spending too long looking under the water and forgetting to carry on swimming and catching up to the rest of the group. I was fine, I'm quite good at swimming but I was just so entranced and enthralled by the whole thing that I just forgot to keep swimming and spent too long looking. It was amazing. And then after we finished our snorkel we got back on the boat and they took us to this white sand beach and it was beautiful. Most people just kind of laid out their towels and sat sunbathing. I had a really good book that I finished really really fast so I just spent the whole time we were at the beach reading and it was so nice and then after we were at that beach we got back on the boat had lunch on the boat there was banana bread it was beautiful and then we went to another beach which was equally as white sand and beautiful and <laughs> oh it was just just a wonderful 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 day and then after we went to the second beach we got back on the boat and we sailed back to the port and went back to the hostel on that boat ride back i sat on like the roof of the boat there was like this bench thing on the roof of the boat and we just got to sit and watch the water as we went. Oh, it was so cool. I just sat there for the whole journey back. So yeah, we got back to the hostel. We waited for the other group to get back. I think I just sat around and read for a lot longer. And when they did, we all walked um, to this pier, which was closed to the public, I think. And we all went pier diving. At first, I wasn't gonna do it because I'd taken my tankini top off and I was just wearing a sports bra and my tankini shorts and I was like that's not appropriate to jump in the sea with so I watched a few other people do it and then I was like actually I'm never going to get the chance to jump off a pier into the Galapagos while there's sea lions around again and it was brilliant because it had gone dark it was night time and we all ended up being late for dinner and the lady at the hostel wasn't too happy with us but we just had a brilliant night and then I think I probably just sat out on the roof with my friends looking at the stars and that's why that day snorkeling was one of the best days of my entire life. So that's the second story I have from Ecuador. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I have. I loved making last week's video and I'll leave a link to it in the description if you missed it. Give it a like if you liked it or if you'd like to go to the Galapagos or something like that or if you've done anything like that let me know in the comments. It'd be cool to share stories. Uh, subscribe if you're new because I'm going to make a new Ecuador video every week. My plan is to do Ecuador stories videos on Wednesdays and then kind of other content on Sunday so I don't completely spam you with it. I'm really excited, I get really excited whenever I film one of these videos so I hope you're excited too. Thank you for watching, I'll see you soon. Bye!